The law does need to develop sometimes, and the ICRC is, is recommending, and states are moving this way with some urgency, which is good, to come up with new binding rules on AI autonomous weapon systems that behave unpredictably, that we don't really know how they're going to cope with a given situation, or specifically AI or autonomous weapon systems that are used to target humans. And there is some stuff in there also about a self-destruct capacity that could be a kill switch. But here's the thing. We're not talking about slingshots. We're talking about weapons with destructive capacity that can really harm real human lives. If we are ceding life and death decisions to software and sensors, we are removing the empathy, the restraint, the moral responsibility, and the respect for humanity that can come only from us, from humans. There should always be appropriate human judgment over the use of force. But just like you can't control a bullet after you fire it, and you can't control a radar-guided missile after you fire it, at some point, you do the testing and evaluation that proves systems work. And if we can do that, and we can demonstrate that AI-enabled systems are superior to non-AI-enabled systems, we will not just be reducing damage because AI systems don't get mad, don't get scared, and don't get angry. We'll be increasing our effectiveness on the battlefield.